One afternoon in June 2013, a few classmates of mine sat in the computer room at school talking about this new video game that would come out next year. I've never heard about it before. It's a lot like COD, but it's way cooler. I'm not really big of a fan when it comes to shooter games. We know, but you have to check this out. This was the first time I ever heard of Titanfall. And little did I know that this was the point of no return. Hello boys and girls, I'm the Flying Teacup, and this video is a little bit different from what I usually do. I wanted to tell you my history with Titanfall from the beginning until today. The little story I heard in the beginning was how I got into Titanfall from the very start. At this point, the only shooter I played was Team Fortress 2, which was one of my favorite games at the time. And to this day, I still have very fond memories of. When I was younger, my parents were very strict when it came to violence in video games. If it had guns and blood in it, it was most likely a game I shouldn't play, although TF2 was cartoonish enough for them to let me play. This resulted in me naturally not caring for shooters, because I knew that I wouldn't get to play them either way, so what's the point? So most of them just passed me by. But when I saw Titanfall for the first time, something happened. I couldn't stop watching the gameplay trailer. It was just something about it that kept me interested. At first, I wasn't impressed. To me, it looked like any other shooter, even when they called in the title for the first time. It just didn't really do it for me. But when I saw this... Something clicked. Most people enjoy Titanfall for the Titans. I mean, it's in the name, so... If you don't like the Titans, then what's the point of playing it, right? Well, here's the thing. What kept me interested in Titanfall wasn't the Titans, or the guns, or even the AI grunts interacting with the player and each other. It was this one small little detail. When I was young, Sonic was my favorite franchise, and something that has really stuck to me even to this day was the satisfying feeling of flying through the stage at high speeds and running the same course over and over and over again to make it more fluent and better and faster. I wasn't good at it, I just wanted to see how fast I could go because it felt good. This is the thing that clicked. The fact that when you eject from your Titan you fly straight up in the air and can observe the battlefield from above, it gave the game a completely new dimension. And knowing that you could get to any point of the map by just wall running and jumping on and off titans hit the spot the same way it did when I played Sonic when I was younger. Now you might think I fell in love with the game way back then, pre-ordered it, played it on launch and has never let go since, right? Well, that's not what happened. To be completely honest, around Christmas time that year, I have completely forgot about the game. A little more than a year after its release, I went on a game night at a friend's friend's house, who I really didn't know well back then, but who I would consider now one of my best friends. He had his computer running Titanfall in the living room, and at first I didn't recognize it at all. And just like the first time, I thought it was another shooter. But after a short while of watching him play, I remember why I was so into it back then. On my birthday the same year, I got Titanfall. By the time I started playing the game, it had a peak player base of around 600 players worldwide, which isn't that much today, but it was enough to find a match, which was more than alright to me. I got to know most of the people in the region. Every time I played the match, I was guaranteed to play with someone I've met before, and it felt like a little family. As time passed, I got more and more invested in Titanfall, even to the point where I started to look for YouTube videos on how to get better at the game. I also discovered the Titanfall subreddit with rumors spread that a new Titanfall was in development and it would be released sometimes during 2016. When October 28, 2016 rolled around, the sequel was finally released worldwide, and every moment I could spare, I played Titanfall 2. No matter how many times I died or lost, I always told myself, just one more match. And so it went on. One day I was browsing Reddit and a post caught my eye. It was asking the simple question that I somehow never asked myself. Why are there robotic pilots in Titanfall 2? There was no explanation in the campaign, so out of pure curiosity, I started searching. This would eventually lead to the first theory video I ever made on my channel. Hello boys and girls, I'm the Flying Teacup and I wanted to discuss a theory that I have about Titanfall 1 and 2. Was it an accurate explanation? No. <laughs> Did I get my point across? Not really. But this was the beginning of this insane 
wacky journey. Today is 28th of October 2020. Titleville 2 is now officially 4 years old, and Titleville 1 is 6 years old. Throughout all these years, a lot of things have happened and a bunch more is coming in the future. Based on how passionate and strong the Titleville community is, and it's now being out on Steam, the future looks bright for the franchise. Titleville 3 is not an if, it's a when. I know I've uploaded other stuff than Titleville lately, but I'll tell you this, even the day when they shut down the servers and the community completely dies out, I will still regard Titanfall as one of my favorite games of all time. I am so happy to be considered a part of this community and to bring joy to those who are still here and for those who will soon find their way to the frontier. I'm so thankful for Respawn for creating this wonderful game known as Titanfall, even though their focus is on Apex right now. To be honest, I am so incredibly happy and proud that they are finally getting the recognition they deserve. Without them, I wouldn't be here making videos for you, and all those wonderful inspiring people that I've met during my time as a content creator. It's absolutely amazing. Now I don't want to ramble on for too long, so let's wrap this up with a nice tight bow on the top. Happy birthday, Titanfall.